Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. If you hear dogs barking outside, I'm very, very sorry. There is nothing I can do about that, but I'm trying to edit them out. But guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. It really does mean the world to me. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I review everything that gets released on Netflix. And today we're gonna to be talking about human resources, which is a spin-off, of course, of Big Mouth. Now, I've got a complicated relationship with Big Mouth. When I first saw the trailers for it, I was not interested. And for a long period of time, actually, I didn't have access to Netflix until I was house sitting. And I was like, flip, well, what am I gonna do? There's only Netflix to watch. But at that point, I didn't know about any of the Netflix original shows or movies. And so I was just sitting there and I ultimately was like, well, what's one thing I know? Well, I keep seeing this Big Mouth thing advertised. So begrudgingly, I started watching it. I didn't want to. The core idea of the series didn't appeal to me. It just seemed like it was vulgar, sex, crazy rubbish. That's what it seemed like from the trailers to me. Uh, but then I watched the, the first few episodes and I was pleasantly surprised by the depth of the characters, the character development, and honestly, even the idea of a hormone monster was something that appealed to me. Because, you know, as someone that went through those changes, as someone that went through pu puberty, and someone that built those urges, it really felt like you just had this thing on your shoulders, like urging you, like, yeah, do this, do this, do this. So that really related to me. And I ended up really enjoying this show for the first three seasons. And then season four came out, less so. I didn't even finish season five. In my opinion, it went from a show about characters who were going through these changes and it regressed into something that was just sex, 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 24 seven, that's what it's all about. And so that really broke my heart. And so when I saw this series being announced, I was kind of worried, is it gonna be more like season one to three of Big Mouth, or is it gonna be more like season four and five? And I have to say this series does a very good job of actually stepping away from Big Mouth and telling its own contained story. So yes, all of the emotions, all the character emotions that we're used to, like hormone monsters, depression kitties, and the actual individuals like Maury and Connie that we are aware of, they return and that's great. But in regards to the human characters, they're all completely new and they aren't actually part of the primary story. The primary story is, of course, about these monsters in human resources. And this was something I really, really enjoyed. But I feel like the show also sets itself up to fail because it starts off with this joke that they're pitching the show and they're kind of like, it's like Big Mouth meets, you know, The Office. And I was thinking that would mean like, wow, that's exciting. This is going to give us an opportunity for a ton of talking heads and stuff like that. And while we did get some, it was never to the degree or the level of intelligence or hilarity of something like The Office or even Parks and Recreation. So it set itself up. It, it said this is the standard we're aiming for. And it never really met that standard. But this was definitely a show that I enjoyed a lot more than I thought I would. We get to see these shows tackle incredibly powerful themes that are relevant to us everyday people. And not just in ways you'd expect, we see actual emotions that are supposed to be doing a specific job struggle with self-identity. That is something that a ton of us struggle with. We struggle with self-identity. Who are we? What do we strive to be? That's something that most humans face. And beyond that, we just get to see how these different characters either deal with things in an incredibly unhealthy way, which is how all the hormone monsters seem to deal with everything, versus how the other emotions try to deal with things. And there was this great dynamic between these two different emotions that were also in a relationship. And I thought it was great because it showed how someone that's logical will approach a situation and how someone that's more like driven by their emotions will approach it and how they seem to completely disagree with each other. But at the end, realizing that's not how relationships work. Relationships work off of compromise and figuring out what works for both parties. It's a lot more than just some vulgar sex show, but I will say that this series definitely includes a lot of this. There's an entire episode where Connie, and now I don't want to give spoilers, although you'll probably be able to guess what I'm talking about, but Connie has to look after Maury's children, which are a specific body parts, and she's given specific instructions, otherwise they'll turn into another body part, and you're like, what? And there's a play on words there, but I don't want to say the play on words because then I give away the storyline. That's the issue with reviewing stuff before it gets released. You can't tackle story elements or story beats. But um, it's very vulgar and very on the nose. So sometimes you've got to look below or you've got to look through the vulgar stuff to get to the core concept of the show and the stuff that's really, really good. Because even core ideas and moments 
are interrupted by the more vulgar stuff. There's these scenes where these two characters are really trying to connect together on an emotional level, but the whole time the one is throwing up, and it's very, very gross. So you've got to look past the grossness, and I can guarantee you some people won't be able to. But if you're someone who loves the idea of Big Mouth and enjoys the show, then Human Resources is a great spin-off for you. Because one of the primary things that people enjoy most about Big Mouth is the hormone monsters, the depression kitties, the shame wizards, everything like that, the emotional characters. And those characters are front and center in the show. We deal a lot less with the human characters and a lot more on the show stars, which is the emotions. I just have to say, the shame wizard is hilarious in this. He's always been my favorite character because the idea of shame is a concept that's very intriguing to me. And so this character, his developments throughout the show was hilarious. So yeah, guys, if you're a fan of Big Mouth, I would recommend it. If you hate Big Mouth, I would say you're going to hate this as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching. You are the best. You are awesome. And I hope to see you again in another review. Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for watching that video. I really do appreciate it. If you did and you want to watch more of my content, then quickly subscribe. But I want to let you know about the podcast that I'm busy running over on Zapcast's YouTube channel. If you are a content creator wanting to learn, then check out the ABCs of content creation. And if you are a nerd like me, check out the weekly fundamentals.